adding numbers in any order. This is lesson 1.3. We can add numbers in any order. When we switch their places, the sum stays the same. We can do three blue gems plus four orange squares, and that's going to equal seven. We can also do four orange squares plus three blue gems. That's going to equal seven. This is called the commutative property. And a property in math is a rule we can follow. Let's look at this first one here. We have 2 plus 8 equals 10. We have two blue ones and eight green ones. And when we count them all together, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. When we add the eight green ones, to the two blue ones, we still get 10. It doesn't matter if we're going this way or this way, or if they switch places, it's still going to be 10. Here we have 5 plus 4 equals 9, and 4 plus 5 equals 9. It doesn't matter which order we add them, it's still going to equal 9. Here we have 3 plus 4 equals 7 and 4 plus 3 equals 7. It doesn't matter which order we add them, it's still going to equal 7. We have 1 plus 4 equals 5, or 4 plus 1 equals 5. They still both equal 5. It doesn't matter the order. Here we have 2 plus 7 equals 9, and 7 plus 2 equals 9. We have 7, 8, 9. Either way we add them, it's going to be the same sum. Here we have 5 plus 3 equals 8, and 3 plus 5 equals 8. Even though they switched places, it still equals 8. Here we have 2 plus 4 equals 6, and 4 plus 2 equals 6. 4, 5, 6. Either way, it equals 6. Here we have 8 plus 4 and 4 plus 8. We have 8 green triangles and 4 green triangles. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 8 plus 4 equals 12. And if we add the 4 plus the 8, it's still going to equal 12. Here we have 9 plus 3 and 3 plus 9. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 3 more, 10, 11, 12. 9 plus 3 equals 12, and 3 plus that 9 is going to equal 12. Doesn't matter what order we add them, does it? Here we have 6 plus 4 and 4 plus 6. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's going to be 6 plus 4 equals 10, or 4 plus 6 equals 10, because it didn't matter which order we added them. Here we have 7 plus 5 and 5 plus 7. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can add the 7 plus the 5, or the 5 plus the 7. We're still going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Either way we do it. 7 plus 5 or 5 plus 7, it's still going to be 12. Here we have 6 plus 5 and 5 plus 6. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We add them together, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Either way, we're going to have 11. How about this one? Can you help me with this one? We have 7 plus 4, or 4 plus 7. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So how many do we have in all? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 7 plus 4 is 11, and 4 plus 7 is 11. See? 
So we can add numbers in any order. That's the commutative property. That's the rule that we can add numbers in any order. We just can't do it with subtraction. I'll show you that when we get into the subtraction chapter. All right? So practice doing your addition, add-ins, and see how fast you can go and see if you can just say them right away like 5 plus 4 is 9 or 2 plus 4 is 6. See how fast you can go. All right? See if you can remember them. I'll see you next video. Bye.